Quran, like the Old Testament, has a list of permitted and forbidden foods. The two lists are very similar. For Muslims, acceptable food is called halal and forbidden foods are called haram. Forbidden food includes the meat of pigs and of carnivores or meat from strangled animals or with blood in it. In both Mecca and Medina, Muhammad lived in a multi-religious society alongside Jews, Christians and idol worshippers. The Muslims did not slaughter all their own food. Surah 5 verse 5 tells us that the food, including slaughtered animals, of the people of the scripture, that is, Jews and Christians, is lawful for Muslims. Muhammad himself ate meat from a sheep that had been prepared by a Jewish woman. Eating food slaughtered and prepared by non-Muslims was acceptable. Hunting dogs or birds of prey are not halal animals according to Islam, but even wild game killed by them was permissible to eat simply by saying Bismillah or in the name of Allah over it before eating. One day, some Muslims said to Muhammad, people bring us meat and we do not know whether they have mentioned Allah's name or not on slaughtering the animal. He said, mention Allah's name on it and eat. He did not tell them to get a certificate from anyone. The Muslims themselves could make their food of unknown origin halal simply by reciting Bismillah over it. Every Muslim was responsible for their own food choices and how they dealt with their food. Even known haram or forbidden food could be eaten in certain circumstances according to the Quran. The modern idea of official halal certification is beta, an innovation or invention by some Muslims who want to make money off food companies and gullible customers. Commercial certification was not required in Muhammad's time and it's not required today.